Hi everybody, Erin back again today. We are working on part three of our graduation centerpiece. In part one, we made this little more board. And if you wanna check your little icon right up here, this little i card, you can click on it and it'll take you on to a video about how I made this using the Macon clay and the various tools, including the texture sheets. Part two, we made all these pieces. So we went through and we, and we painted all of our chipboard. We decorated or we added the little tassels to here. We made this clay piece here. We assembled the box. We added the clay around the outside. Um, and then we, like I said, we painted. And then we also made these little clay circles here. And then we made one final little ring. So what I just did, and I thought I was recording, I do that a lot lately. Um, I went ahead and inked the outside of our clay ring. And then I'm going to take this extra piping, which is the same rolled clay that I used here, and go around the outside just to kind of mimic the idea. And this piece is gonna go right in the middle. And it just gives it a base for the hat to sit on. So I've decided this is gonna be the front of my box. You know, when you have a four-sided object, there definitely is going to be a front and a back and what's going to be. There's going to be things all the way around and people are going to look at it, but you have to have kind of a front end. So, the, this is going to tie around the back. I'm going to get this close and you're just going to have to hold it. This is a tacky glue, but it doesn't hold right away. So just kind of hold it in place until it stays. I'm gonna start adding on the rest of my embellishments. I really do like the celebrate here in the front, and I'm just gonna rest it. I'm gonna rest the celebrate just on top of the, um, on the side here. So it's gonna kinda of hang out on top of the clay. And I'm gonna do one on the front and one on the back. And just above that, I'm gonna put the numbers right here. And I'm gonna use the lines to help guide the numbers. They're not all over the place, so they're in a nice line. All right, the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in all of my little white clay little circles that I created. So I'm just gonna go through and put the glue around each of the corners they're gonna rest on. Next step is I'm going to add these little guys to the sides. I'm going to float them kind of in the middle here. So I have these fun little jewels that I have from Eyelet Outlet and I'm just going to start kind of adding into some fun places. I might put some at the bottom here, um, some of these smaller ones and some of these larger ones and there's some on the back because I put them in the same package. I'm going to add them kind of like maybe around here so I'm just going to play. Because I don't want these falling off um, because it's on a poor, it, they're going to be, gravity is going to be defined and they're not just going to be laying flat on a sheet of paper. I'm going to go ahead and tack them on with glue. Even though they are sticky back gems, I'm just going to reinforce them. I don't want them falling off into the food or something just to be safe.
And there we have it. There's our little paper clay centerpiece cake thing. Something kind of fun and different. It, definitely the idea of a cake was my inspiration, but um, it's just kind of fun. Went with the school colors from my husband's school and just kind of played it up. So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to check out part one and part two where I made the little hat play uh, hat and set up all the embellishments and arrange the box. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.